I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question on conditional probability. We are going to solve this question using Venn diagrams. The question here is, a grade 12 mathematics student is selected at random to sit on the university liaison committee. Of these 125 students enrolled in a grade 12 university preparation mathematics course. 50 are enrolled in data management, 40 are enrolled in calculus, 60 are enrolled in functions, 5 are enrolled in both data management and calculus, 10 are enrolled in both functions and data management, 15 are enrolled in calculus and functions, you need to determine the probability that the student selected will be A. Enrolled in all the three subjects and part B is, so there are two parts to this, enrolled only in functions. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now here, we are given total of 125 students, right? So. The total is 125 students. Out of these, in one subject each, data management, calculus and functions. So these are the three major subjects. Let's make three circles for these. So let me use this place here. So let's say one circle for calculus. The other one will do for data management and then we'll draw one for functions okay. overlapping okay. so these are the three circles so what we're given here is let's write down 50 are enrolled in data management so these are single subjects right Data management, calculus functions, so we just add them up. We get 50 plus 40 plus 60. And then take away the ones which are in two subjects, right? Five enrolled in both, so we take away five. And then we take away 10, because they have been counted twice, and take away 15. How much do we get? Let's see. So we have 150 and we are taking away 20. So, so we are actually 130, right? So if we do this calculation, uh, we get 120, right? So let's do this. We have 50 plus 40 plus 60, which is 150. Take away 5, take away 10, take away 15, which is 120. Okay. So that gives us 120. But we have 125 students. It means what? It means that the number of students who have taken all the three subjects. Right? So we are calling this as, let's say, calculus. We are calling this as data management, let's say D. And... Uh, this one as functions. So the number of students which have taken all three, which is all three, that is calculus, data management functions, are how many? 125 minus 120, which is five. You see that? So this number five is common. So five students have taken all the three math subjects, right? So therefore, we get the answer for first one, which is enrolled in all three subjects is five out of 125, out of 125. So that is it. So that's the probability of A. So dividing by five, we get five, two, so 25, 1 over 25. That's the probability of a student which has taken all the three subjects to be selected at random. Is that clear? Now, second part is enrolled only in functions. Now, for that, we need to 
work more details. So let's get into it now. First part, let's look into, we move from inside out. So let's see the two subjects now. Five enrolled in both data management and calculus. So number five in data management and calculus, which is already there. So that means zero here, right? This is common in data management and calculus, five enrolled in data management calculus. Okay, fine. Second, 10 are enrolled in both functions and data management. So 10 in this group, that means this common group. So five is already there, so we'll add five more. So five plus five, 10 are common between functions and data management. So we're taking care of this also. 15 are enrolled in calculus and functions. Calculus and functions, 15. We have 10, 5 so far, so 10 more. So that's group. So 15, okay. So now let's move on. 60 are enrolled in functions. We want this group to be 60. We already have 20 there, so we need to add 40, correct? So let me write 40 here. 40 are enrolled in calculus, we have 15, right? So 15, if you take away from 40, 40 take away 10 is 30, take away 5 is 25, right? So that makes it 40. For data management, there are 50 students, 10 already shown here, 40 more. When you add all this, you will get 125, okay? Now let's answer the second question, which is enrolled only in functions. So only in functions is 40 students. So it is 40 over 125. Is it okay? So that is how you're going to solve it. So when you divide both by 5, you get 8 over 25 as the students enrolled only in functions. From there, if you are picking 1, correct? Okay? So, so I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Venn diagrams make it very simple to solve such questions where a lot of combinations are given to us. Thank you and all the best.